Hi folks, hello again. Today we will look at how to write text on a curve in Affinity Publisher V2 version 2. Now here's our document. Of course, to write text on a curve, we need a curve first, right? So we go to the uh, toolbar and we pick up pen tool and I I draw a curve. Okay, a nice sinusoidal shaped curve. Okay. And then what we need to do is pick up this artistic text tool. I click and when it stands alone, it's it's shaped like an A, letter A. But when I bring it close on, on the line, it changes. Maybe you, you won't see it clearly, but let me try. Into a T, like a letter T. Okay, now you can see better perhaps with a little wiggle wave underneath. So click this T with a wave underneath anywhere on the line. And there appears a green handle and at the end a red handle. So this is where our curved text uh, will be. As you can see, the, the cursor is blinking, waiting for the text. And I write, discover the great Canadian outdoors, exclamation mark with a bunch of period following it. Now, if I double click and select the text, as you can see, let me change its color, right? So it can be seen more easily. Then increase its size from the text menu. And as I change it, you can see in real time, it adjusts itself. So at 36 points, and when I click outside, let me pick, let me pick the move tool. When I click outside, here we go. This is as, as easy as that, but I don't want to move the picture, but just the text itself. Now, uh, you can play around with a few uh, controls here on the uh, menu bar. The baseline lifts up the text from the line or you can pull it underneath it so you can arrange the space between the line and the text very easily. And if you click this, it'll reverse itself. It'll flip and flop around the line you have drawn. Now, if you don't like this line as is, you can pick up the node tool, this white arrow, and then start changing the curve any way you like. Okay, you can pull these handle. If you know how to deal with Bezier curves, that's a very useful skill to know when it comes to this. So just like you would you would edit a vector, which is which it is, this is a vector line. So you can give this text on a tool any shape you like. And not only that, if you triple click and select the whole text, you can go to text styles uh, list and I'm going to select, what am I going to select? Uh, let's see, heading one. Now, this is, this is text on a curve in heading one style. But since I didn't like the color, I'm going to again turn it into yellow. And let's create another text and the only line you can draw is not with the pen tool of course you can select a shape 
I'll select ellipse tool and click shift control to draw a perfect circle and I don't want any fill so I select fill in the swatches and click this uh, little like a no parking sign little circle and that eliminates uh, that eliminates the fill and let me pull it around here and I again go to artistic test text tool and click here and I'll write visit Montreal and Vancouver lovely city today okay now if I select move tool and push this green handle okay I can I can successfully change its location and here from the ro rotate I want to rotate it just a little okay pull it down for more easy visibility and I want to insert a picture in the middle here and I'm going to go and select the frame ellipse tool okay and by pressing shift and control I created a perfect circular picture frame and to insert picture in it control shift M and I'm gonna insert this picture okay as you know I can move this picture around and I can zoom in I can do a lot of things with this picture in a frame so I carry this here and maybe I should increase its size a little bit by pushing shift so that it'll, it'll be a more perfect circle uh, under under the curved text so this is basically how you uh, create a text on a curve in affinity publisher v2 now it's your turn to do it don't forget you can download a trial copy of affinity publisher just to try it out and see if it's something that you would like to continue to use see you in the next video